Hey guys, today we're going to be going over the Smapo NCPC. I know I've done a video about this in the past, but the camera wasn't very good and the video quality really just didn't give the carrier the justice that it deserves. So the CPC was originally designed by Cry Precision. Uh, the NCPC is simply the Navy version. Um, it was done in limited numbers um, for Naval Special Warf Warfare units. This particular one is an AOR-1. Smapo also makes them in... I believe Ranger Green, Multicam, and maybe a couple other colors. So the only real difference you're going to see between the CPC and an NCPC is going to be the cummerbund system. As you can see here, the NCPC has a scalable style cummerbund system. What this is going to allow is a lighter weight uh, platform altogether, and it's also going to allow you to mount pouches on the inside of the cummerbund and the outside of the, the cummerbund, which is my certainly my favorite feature of the carrier. All right, so another cool thing about this NCPC and the CPC is gonna be the internal harness system. What you're looking at now is kind of the way the harness attaches to the plate bags. What the harness does, it has an, a rigid internal liner um, that allows you to have a, a heavier load on your plate carrier, but still distribute the weight evenly. Right here, this tab is gonna be what allows you to interface the harness to the front plate bag. Uh, there's also another method of applying it um, if you just want to run the harness and not the cummerbund, uh, but I have taken that off for the video. These pads here, again, are just going to give you a little bit more comfort on the harness system, and it's just going to help with the load distribution and how the carrier sits on your body. So what you see here is the actual emergency doffing kit that the NCPC and the CPC come with. Uh, what these two cables are, this is what integrates the rear plate bag into the harness system. So if you were to yank on these two cables, um, say in an emergency situation, if you fell in water or what have you, the system would separate and you would be able to break free from the carrier. The shoulder pads themselves are very padded. As you can see here, they also have some routing cables um, or routing tubes for cables, hydration tubes, things of that nature. On the front of the plate bag, right above the kangaroo mag pouch, you have an internal admin pouch. This pouch has elastic dividers in it for pens or whatever else you may need. The rear plate bag is going to be another place where the NCPC shines. Right here, this zipper is going to allow you to attach multiple back panels to kind of fit your mission needs. This one that you're looking at is the assaulter's back panel. Up top, you have two 40 millimeter pouches with three pouches on each pouch, if that makes sense, with the bottom pouch being just a large horizontal utility pouch. The horizontal utility pouch has shrink wrap on the actual pull tabs, which is very nice. It allows for a nice clean, clean grab and pull to the zippers and um, doesn't really get in the way of anything. All right, so this is the secondary back panel that Smapple offers. This is kind of their utility uh, pouch. As you can see here, the center splits to allow easy access to the main compartment. The mesh backer that you're looking at is going to be a divider um, for just helping organize the pouch itself. Up here at the top on the securing flap, uh, you have another pouch with a lot of Velcro for whatever you need. Down here, this is an extendable pouch for if you want to run bolt cutters that would go inside of this pouch right here that I'm holding. As you can see here, these snaps, this is also going to be what helps secure the, the back panel to the plate carrier itself, um, just so it's not flopping around on you um, when you do have materials in there. As you can see here, you have Samapo's kind of logo, just like on this NCPC, and these zippers are going to be what interfere or, or interface with the back panel. Overall, the Samapo NCPC is phenomenal. It's a spot-on replica to the real cry cpc and is well worth the money